Welcome back to the channel where we discuss topics related to personal finance, happiness, and how to lead a good life. On today's show, we're going to assess the eight takeaways from Netflix's latest show on longevity, Live to 100, The Secrets from the Blue Zones. But what exactly are these blue zones? Blue zones represent regions around the globe that have an unusually high number of centenarians living there. So people living up to the ripe age of 100 years old or more. These regions also display a relatively low rate of age-related diseases such as cancer, heart disease, diabetes, or dementia. The bottom line is that people living in blue zones live significantly longer and healthier lives. The term itself was coined by Dan Buettner, a National Geographic fellow who led a team of researchers over the last decades to identify the following five blue zones. Ikaria, Greece, Okinawa, Japan, the Ogliastra region of Sardinia in Sicily, Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica, and a Seventh-day Adventist community that is found in Loma Linda, California in the United States. All right, let's dive right into the eight lessons learned. What exactly are these lifestyle and cultural factors that may potentially explain why residents in blue zones are living uh, so long? The hope is that we ourselves can incorporate some of these choices into our own lives to maximize the possibilities of living long and healthy lives. The first takeaway is about the sense of purpose and outlook on life. They're typically focused on family, friendships, faith, and work that is meaningful to them. The show presents proud centenarians displaying their craft in Okinawa, Japan, or even riding horses and herding cattle in Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica. Faith was important to many of them. The show presents elders in different locations regularly attending their faith congregations. But most importantly, their positive outlook on life and sense of purpose is grounded in the heartfelt respect and love that is provided by their family and community. The second takeaway is to move naturally. The physical activity of Blue Zone residents isn't typically what you'd think of as a formalized exercise routine. With the exception of Loma Linda Adventists who do practice sports, physical activity was generally incorporated in Blue Zones organically into their daily routines. Centenarians across Blue Zones constantly engage in activities like walking, gardening, dancing, and manual labor, which keeps them constantly in movement throughout the day without the need of formal workouts. Interestingly, sometimes there are external enabling factors. For example, residents in Sardinia tend to live in steep towns, or Okinawan centenarians have low furniture in their household that contributes to strengthening their lower body. The third takeaway is about the power of community. Social connections are fundamental for Blue Zones. The power of community in Blue Zones was one of the top takeaways that stood out in relation to how most Western societies are typically structured. Why is this relevant? Well, a study published in the American Journal of Public Health in 2018 found that loneliness was associated with a 50% increase in the risk of early death. This is very worrisome given that nearly half of American adults report either sometimes or always feeling lonely. The fourth takeaway is about the importance of family. In Blue Zone communities, the elder are not sent off to retirement homes. The concept of family first is very ingrained in their lives, emphasizing the important role of family ties in promoting well-being and longevity. Multi-generational households are not uncommon in Blue Zones, with children, parents, and grandparents often living within the same roof, helping each other, and producing very strong intergenerational relationships. By prioritizing family relationships and investing in the well-being of loved ones, older individuals in Blue Zone communities cultivate a source of emotional resilience and social support that contributes to their overall health and longevity. The fifth takeaway is to actively focus on others. As we've discussed in previous videos, one of the ultimate sources of a meaningful and happy life lies within ourselves and having a greater sense of responsibility and concern for others. Reducing the focus on yourself is a critical strategy to reduce the negative emotions that you experience on a day-to-day -day basis and to increase your overall well-being. This is illustrated repeatedly throughout the show, whether it is the Loma Linda Adventists regularly volunteering in communities nearby or the responsibility the elderly citizens are granted for taking care of younger generations in Okinawan and Sardinian households. The fifth lesson learned is to focus on stress reduction. Unsurprisingly, mitigating stress is a very important factor contributing to longevity. 
Blue zone inhabitants generally have a healthy sense of work-life balance, a good sense of humor, and are also able to wind down daily. For Loma Linda Adventists, besides the physical activity, there is also a formal emphasis on rest and relaxation that even includes a weekly day of rest during Sabbath. But more generally across Blue Zones, elderly folk do not appear to be stressed. Experts interviewed emphasize the role that technology has in keeping us aware in real time of troubling events that are going around over the world, over which we have simply very, very little agency. In contrast, consider the mental stability and calmness that arises in local shepherders in Sardinia when they manage to successfully focus and solve the different problems that arise for them every single day. One of the key takeaways, as we saw in our previous video on Stoicism, is to focus more on the things within your control. And unsurprisingly, the seventh takeaway is to focus on eating wisely. And here we have three main ideas for you. First, the show presented Blue Zone diets as being predominantly plant-based, emphasizing the role of whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, and nuts as important contributors to overall health and longevity. According to the show, traditional diets in Blue Zone areas use meat very sparingly. If at all, the focus is on smaller portions of lean meats. The community of Loma Linda in California presents the largest share of centenarians across the entire United States. They are vegetarian. Secondly, through the diets of Sardinian residents, the show highlights the importance of consuming mostly good carbs, and only then in moderation. These are carbs that present lower glycemic indexes. Although these examples aren't specifically shown in the show, some examples of the, what these carbs could be would be barley, quinoa, bulgur, wild rice, rye, or oats. They essentially release glucose into our bloodstream, preventing rapid spikes in our blood sugar levels. The third idea is very important as well. It is not only about what you eat, but how much you are eating. Keeping an eye on the calories is also a core principle in the eating habits of many Blue Zones. Consider the Okinawan practice of Harahachibu, which essentially means to stop eating when you feel 80% full. The residents of Okinawa they consider this factor to be one of the most relevant ones contributing to their longevity. The eighth takeaway is that environment matters. In blue zones, the environment influences significantly longevity and well-being. The area shown in the show boasts natural beauty and clean air, which foster physical activity, relaxation, and connection with nature. Residents living there enjoy environments that are conducive to healthy living, providing opportunities for walking, gardening, and other outdoor pursuits. While clean air and water further enhance respiratory health and vitality, green surroundings are known as well to lower stress and to boost mental health. All right, these were the main lessons for me. If today's video motivated you to stay healthy, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care, enjoy the Netflix show if you haven't already, and see you in the next video.